Hey guys, I'm ZSH Plays. Welcome to Texon Coast, an entire new area in one episode. This has never happened before. This area that you can see here has been reserved for California sea lions since the day we started this zoo, and we are finally going to put them in there. I'm just getting the shape of the uh, the sea lion enclosure here. I want them to have a really, really big habitat with loads of water in it, uh, and it's going to be on two levels uh, as usual. So there's going to be underwater viewing at ground level and then above ground viewing up a ramp no stairs in this build for once finally had enough room to do that and then we're gonna have where the wooden circle is an African penguin habitat so this is the basic shape of the sea lines here we are gonna have to lose the jungle cafe that I wanted to have um, at the back there it's just not enough room to get the sea lions as much space as I want them to have and the African penguins in there as well. So we're gonna have a beach for the sea lions at the back here. Um, and then it's probably about, I don't know, 20% land and 80% water. So they have a lot of space to swim around in. Uh, I think it's about seven meters, if I recall correctly, in terms of depth. So they've got lots of space to swim around and it looks really cool when they do that. The animations are really good. I think they're so much more charismatic than the grey seals, uh, in my opinion, anyway. Um, it just seems to be more fun watching them swim about. Maybe it's just because I've seen more of them in real life. I would really like to keep them both in the same habitat, but um, despite them not coexisting in the wild, I'm pretty sure that the California sea lion would view a uh, little African penguin as a tasty little snack so that's uh, probably not the best idea. I don't actually know what happens in game if you put them together, uh, but I don't really want to find out. So <laughs> we're not going to do that. This is the African penguin part of it. So it's a lot smaller than the sea lions, obviously. Um, it's still well within the guidelines for what these guys need. Um, so they do have enough space, but um, just a lot less than the sea lions. So these little dudes are pretty small. And then I wanted a rock in the middle of the sea lions for them to bask on as well. So that they're not just either on land at one end of the exhibit or underwater at the other end. And this is the, uh, this is the basic structure of the whole thing. So big ramp going up to the top viewing gallery where the guests can see both the penguins and the seals at the same time. And I wanted to sort of make it feel like one building, like the Crocodiles and Caimans exhibit as well. So now it's white concrete time, as always. Um, kind of build the African penguin part of the uh, of the exhibit. So with the sea lions, they are pretty sizable and um, they are fine being kept outdoors in the UK. See them kept like that a lot, especially at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. They have an amazing exhibit for the sea lions at the moment. Uh, they'll need an indoor area for when the weather's particularly bad, but uh, in general you can keep them out of doors. With the African penguins, they are a lot smaller, um, and uh, they live in South Africa, so they're not going to be not going to be particularly happy in quite a lot of the British weather. So they need a more enclosed environment. It's not going to be inside. Um, it's going to be covered with a roof, which is what I'm building here, uh, and then heated but it will be open at the front. So building some ceiling supports, which I'm gonna put a ceiling on. I did this in the Crocodiles and Cayman Center um, and I just really like it. So I've decided to do something kind of similar here, but a lot less intricate. So there's gonna be underwater viewing for the penguins as well here. A lot smaller than the sea lions, obviously, but just a little window with a path that people can walk down to see them swimming around underwater. And then this big area up here for guests to see both the sea lions and the penguins. We're going to put our first animal talks into the zoo as well, which I haven't done uh, so far. So there's going to be two animal talk points up here. Um, sea lion shows are obviously a really popular part of some zoos that keep them. Um, there will be no sea lion shows in Tecton Zoo. <laughs> I'm not uh, a fan of them making them perform, uh, but there will be talks so that people can see them exhibiting uh, just sort of the more natural behaviors that they would um, be doing most of the time anyway um, and they'll have some you know balls and things like that to chase about lots of enrichment in the 
habitat but there won't be any um, actual shows per se um, so apologies if you're a sea lion show fan <laughs> um, just putting a glass reef in here to get some light into the African penguins um, just because of where this is in relation to where the Sun is there's still not a great deal of light because the Sun is sort of as it rises and moves through the sky and then sets it's always sort of behind this building um, and I didn't want glass walls at the back because then you're just gonna see the end of the map um, which is it's not really what I want because it's supposed to be a city zoo and um, you're just gonna see rolling hills and trees and stuff that's not gonna um, fit with the vibe at all so what I did instead was apart from this glass ceiling I've also put a bank of lights in um, which are permanently on I've turned them down pretty low so it's quite subtle it doesn't really look like it's lit during the day but it really brightens up the inside of the habitat and makes it look more like natural light is coming in through the ceiling um, I've got quite into the lights in this game recently after building the entrance to Pomoja Wildlife Park which is the little collaboration zoo uh, that I'm doing at the moment with some really good builders and um, used lights a lot there that you can't actually see that are buried into walls and underground to really highlight specific elements of um, builds that I wanted to and to give a separation between different elements of a design without you actually sort of realizing when you look at it that it's lit which I've sort of done here although I've actually made it so the lights are visible and made sure they look like uh, you know real lights that would actually be there um, so it's a bit more obvious but it just really brightens up the inside of the enclosure makes it look a lot better and now we're back to the uh, the sea lions so I wanted a really strong tecton style look for the giant viewing windows that make up the whole of the front of this habitat so I'm using the white plaster bricks to stand in for white concrete um, I experimented with some ivy there but uh, got rid of it because it was blocking out too much of the view so these big um, sort of sculpted concrete um, I don't know what the word is for them but these things are gonna go all the way around the top of the viewing window and it's basically just gonna be completely open apart from that and then the in-game concrete supports for the glass will be covered up with more custom plaster so that it looks um, more like it can take the weight and then we're going to put a nice sign in for the habitat you know we love our signs in this zoo so just some lovely noto sands drop a few of the letters and put it all in the orange uh, that we used to highlight things in this zoo which contrasts really nicely with the white uh, I actually forgot that sea lion was two words there <laughs> um, but I remembered so it's okay so I decided to cover up the rock with these big pillars um, which uh, I actually used in the sun bear enclosure I'm a big fan of them they look really imposing much better than the rock work I was going to use there originally so I am really happy with how this viewing window looks I think it makes a really good first impression it's the first thing that you see when you come through the tecton coast entrance that you saw at the start of the video and then putting in smaller columns like i said to cover up the in-game um, support columns here and then a sign for the penguins don't want them feeling left out so they get a similar sign here and this is something that i really wanted to get into the build this is a little tribute to the penguin pool that tecton designed at london zoo it has these sweeping concrete ramps that spiral through the enclosure um, that the penguins could walk on and it's one of the most famous parts of the design and i really wanted to get something like that into this build uh, but i just couldn't think of any possible reason why i would need them to be spiraling downwards um, because everything's on the same height uh, so i went with just this curve instead this actually has a function um, this is how the keepers get on to the rock island in the middle so that they can clean it um, otherwise it would be pretty filthy and they'd have to get like scuba gear out to get there um, which is unlikely in real life and definitely not going to happen in planet zoo so i built this ramp to give access to that area um, and then i'm just using a little a little rotation thing um, that we do to uh, make something circular and I'll delete the other half of the circle so we get a really nice curve going out onto there 
um, and it functions the keepers can walk onto it and they use it to get to the island in the middle to clean it um, obviously it's going to need some support struts uh, otherwise it's not going to stay there for very long so i've put these pillars in as well and i'm really happy with how it looks brings a little touch of tecton to the build and the sea lions will actually swim through the pillars and then they will climb on top of it and sit on it as well which looks really good putting some custom fences in as well just in case they ever get the desire to leap out of the water um, and plummet to their deaths on the other side <laughs> didn't want that happening um, so i purposely put slightly uh, more utilitarian fences on the back of the enclosure because they'll be further away from the guests and then much nicer fences at the front of the enclosure where the guests will see them just to try and make it a bit more realistic it's the kind of thing you do to save a bit of cash so we've got some really nice sculpted metal fences from the aquatic pack at the front here and then just the more bog standard mesh at the back i think it really finishes the build off nicely uh, we are getting very close to finish now but before we do that i want to talk about something that happened a couple of days ago which is that we hit 500 subscribers i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed um, that is such a milestone for this little channel um, and it's only been a few months since the zoo looked like this uh, and we had like five subscribers so i've even prepared a little montage for you <laughs> you lucky people um, of what we've done but yeah it's uh it's been so much fun doing this um we're about two thirds of the way through the zoo now i think um so yeah a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed uh and if you haven't uh, you know what to do <laughs> Anyway, back to the sea lions. So one thing I really wanted to have on the inside of their habitat, the underwater part, was some kelp. You often see sea lions uh, swimming around these columns of kelp, and I wanted to replicate that in this environment. So I made some custom kelp to put into the enclosure using the underwater temple plants, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. You'll see more of that in the cinematics at the end with them swimming around it. Uh, a nice little sign for the penguins um, upper viewing as well. I'm never sure about the way the Frontier do the signs in this game, the way they have sort of completely different styles for each DLC, and then those styles are all different to the styles in the base game as well. I can never decide whether I really like the variety or whether it would be better if they were much more uniform. I guess that's down to personal preference really. But uh, I try and use the animal signs when I can because I think it adds a bit of um, variety to the zoo so it's not just plain text everywhere. So it's just down to really whether I like that particular sign that they've done for that animal or not. I love the clouded leopard sign which I used in the clouded leopard foothills. That looks really good. That penguin sign's um, pretty decent. I'm not really a fan of the sea lion one um, so I haven't used it but the um, sea lion statues that you can get are really cool so um, I use those in the Tecton Coast entrance uh, that you saw at the beginning of the video uh, and this is the final stage here we're just putting some nice landscaping into the area surrounding both the habitats I'm going for a beach vibe to really set the scene so it's all sand and rock pools and some nice planting as well. This is the new beaver enrichment item, which I'm using as a rock pool. Really good to have another um, water-based enrichment item in the game, makes it much more versatile. You can get a completely different use out of it. So, there we go. That is the build complete. Um, I'm really happy with it. The sea lands look so cool when they're swimming around in it. Uh, the little penguins at the back make a really nice accompaniment to them. And it's just so good to finally have sea lions in the zoo. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Stick around for the cinematics and I will see you in the next episode.